How to do inequalities. I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com and we're looking at how to do inequalities. Now there's a whole variety of different inequalities that we could do. I picked one that's a little bit more complex that goes from in, in a range. So here we have negative 5 is greater than or equal to, I'm sorry, is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 1 that goes to 3 and that's less than 3. So I'm going to start out with that. So negative 2x plus 1 is in this range. And then I'm going to start moving along the number line. So the next thing I'm going to do is subtract 1. But I have to subtract it from both sides, but there's really two inequalities here. So I'm going to subtract it like that. So negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6, less than or equal to negative 2x, these make 0, so cancel, is less than 2. So what we've done is move this whole thing to here. So we've actually shifted to the left one unit. Next we get to divide by negative 2. Again, doing it on all three parts because it's really both sides. Now here's where the kicker comes in. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative number, it turns the entire number line around, which means you have to switch these inequalities. So this is less than, so I'm going to change it to greater than or equal to, and this one likewise, I'm going to do that. So this is negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. The negative 2's make a 1, so they cancel. And then I have 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1, which means I'm going from negative 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. So I go from negative 1 to 3 inclusive. So the way it moves on the number line is the same way it moves when you're doing the problem. The only thing to really remember is that when you multiply and divide by that negative, you've got to flip both inequality symbols over. I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com, and that's how you do an inequality.